How long have you guys been in Mexico? A week. I mean, they did that day. Which one is it, a week or a day? It's a weekday. You got any narcotics or marijuana in here? <coughs> uh, not anymore. What the... Up in Smoke was a surprise hit back in 1978 for first-time movie stars Cheech and Chong. All these years later, leave them laughing remains their motto, as John Blackstone can attest. When Up in Smoke went up on the big screen 40 years ago, it turned out to be the perfect vehicle for the humor of Cheech Marin and Tommy Chong. Oh, it looks like a toothpick, man. No, it's not a toothpick, man. No, hey, it is a toothpick, man. And their oh, vehicle man, of choice as they searched Los Angeles for marijuana was a lowrider nicknamed the Love Machine. I'm just a love machine, and I won't work for nobody but you. And were you ever under the influence when you were? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Uh, Your Honor, no, I... Uh... Officer. Never I use it for medical purposes only. That's it. That Up in Smoke would be remembered four decades later seemed unlikely when it was released. It was a low-budget movie starring two guys who had never before been in a movie. I mean, at the time, we were just trying to figure out... Which uh, end of the camera to use? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. And they weren't the only beginners on the set. Um, we edited it Up in Smoke here. So was the director, um, Lou Adler. As a first-time director, must have been some things that took you by surprise when you were making. I could sum it all up. We were set up, we're pretty much ready to go, and everybody is waiting, and the first director leans over to me and he says, say action. <laughs> I forgot to say action. John, you're my hero! Together, these first-time filmmakers were looking for laughs. Is that a joint, man? From a subject that until then up, had been man. depicted on screen as a menace. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. The 1936 movie, Reefer Madness, helped lead to the first federal laws criminalizing marijuana. Uh, you mind if I have a bite of your uh, hot dog? Up in Smoke? It was all about evading those laws. Your license. Where is your license? It's on the bumper, man, back there, man. No, I mean your driver's license. That routine started on stage in a Los Angeles music club in the early 70s. One night, Lou Adler was in the crowd. That's the first time I saw Tommy and Cheech. Basically, I said to the guy that was with me at the time, I'd like to record these guys. And he just looked at me and said, I think you're crazy. How are you going to record them? Adler was already a successful music producer with big hits and big stars. He was the most successful record producer in the world at the time he met us. That I didn't know about. Yeah, he didn't know about <laughs> Who's Lou Adler? <laughs> Sounds like a lawyer. Went to his office the next day. He says, well, what do you want to do? I don't know. He looked around. There's gold records everywhere. Uh, make a record. <laughs> <laughs> what kind? Uh, gold. So, so said, what, what do you need? And we said, uh, I said $1,000 in a little tape recorder. Yeah. And he said, OK, you got it. And then Cheech jumped in. And I said, uh, uh, what did I say? There's two of us. Oh, there's two of us. That's right. So we need $2,000. <laughs> uh, I don't know. With Adler, they started thinking about making a movie. We had various ideas. The first idea was Cheech and Chong hits and do the routines. And then I think it was Tommy. He wrote a song called Up in Smoke, and he said, that's the title. Up in smoke, that's where my money goes. For the 40th anniversary, they added some updated lyrics. Up in smoke, it's been a very quick 40 years. Acknowledging that marijuana is now legal for recreational or medicinal use in more than half the states. In every store you see. It's just like prohibition before. It'll, you know, that, the boulder's rolling downhill right now, so you can stand in front of it. 40 years later, yeah. is Up in Smoke as relevant as it was 40 years ago? Probably more relevant than right now, because all the kids that see it for the first time go, oh, that's what's happening. When did they make this? This is happening today, you know? Sign of a classic. It's a classic because of the comedy, says Lou Adler. 
not because of the pot. Well, I decided early, I'm saying I, but it's we, but decided early not to carry a banner for marijuana. But then perhaps why not make it about something else other than marijuana at a time when marijuana was frowned upon? That was their material. I was looking to make a film with these two comedians and their routine uh, was not baseball, it was marijuana. Yeah, so. Take these, this will melt you out, man. What is this, man? I'm just taking it, man. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, don't take those, man. Their routine what? provided plenty of raw material for the movie. He said, I hope you're not busy for about a month. <laughs> when you showed it the first time, what did you think? Hit. I mean, it, hysterical laughter. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> it's the same today. Cheech and Chong are still drawing roars from the crowd 40 years later. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in.